the standard Baxter Strauss. Baxter Strauss is the world's oldest diamond company. We were formed in 1789, and in the early part of the 19th century, we used to make jewelry in London, Paris, and Germany. And the second half of the 19th century, we started producing diamonds. As diamonds were discovered in southern Africa, we bought rough diamonds, polished them, and traded them all over the world. In 2006, we joined forces with Frank Muller, Geneva. The idea behind this was to create and produce a high-end luxury diamond watch collection. The result was the first collection of Bax and Strauss which came out in 2007. The four main cornerstones of the brand are first the history and heritage of the company. The second is our deep knowledge of diamonds. We feel we know diamonds better than anyone else. Thirdly, it's our open partnership with Frank Miller, which gives us a credibility on the horological side. And fourthly, very interestingly, it's the provenance of the brand. The brand has its home in London. And it's in London because we have been a company present in London since 1814. Secondly, London has a very old and rich history in watchmaking. During the 19th century, it was the centre for watchmaking and it was only towards the beginning of the 20th century that the watch business moved to Switzerland. And thirdly, London, we find, is a very cosmopolitan international city and we wanted the flavour of London in our watches. So in order to create the first collection, I took my team of designers from the Frank Muller Group to London on many occasions. We wanted them to understand the Britishness of London, to see what the brand was all about. And the result was the designers were impressed by the architecture of John Nash. John Nash was responsible for large areas of modern London, built these in the 19th century. This was a move away from the traditional houses to beautiful buildings with a circular motion, perfectly symmetrical. So the first result of this collection was the Regent Collection, which is the oval-shaped watch we see here. And London is full of lovely little squares, and it was inevitable that the second collection we brought out with the cut corner squares we called the Barclay. And for the third collection, it was inevitable that Piccadilly being the epicenter of London, we named the round as a Piccadilly collection. You know, the essence of the brand is high-end luxury. And when we talk high-end luxury, we find the origins of luxury in the European monarchy of the 17th and 18th century. That was the time when the king had all the power, all the money. He sent for the best craftsmen. And he commissioned the craftsmen to make the best of using the best material of whether it was furniture, jewelry, uh, clothing. That is the essence of luxury and this is what we try and incorporate in Bax and Strauss. Um, the brand was launched in 2007 and uh, in the last five years we are now present in 20, over 20 different countries selling through 42 doors. We don't have a big production. We don't want to grow the brand's production by too much. We want to have select retailers around the world who will carry the brand for the very discerning consumers who appreciate the finer things in life. This year, during the WPHH, we have a number of novelties which we're introducing to our customers. I will point out to the Piccadilly Blue Velvet, which is this beautiful watch in 45 millimeter size with graduated diamonds using sapphire hour markers and a beautiful mother of pearl dial. Equally exciting is the Piccadilly Eros. Now this is truly a marvel because the diamonds, the small diamonds set in it 
I graduated from the smallest size, which is 0.9 millimeters, to the largest size, which is 1.6 millimeters. There are 976 diamonds set in this beautiful watch. And the craftsmanship that goes into making this is just wonderful. New this year to WPHH is the Victoria Collection. This is an interesting evolution for us away from the Regent Barclay and the Piccadilly Collection. This is a very elegant feminine watch and it's been inspired by the designs of the company's jewelry made in the 19th century. The jewelry made in the 19th century incorporated a lot of interlocking hearts. The hearts representing the love of two people to each other. We designed this watch with white diamonds, set with white diamonds, with natural yellow diamonds and natural pink diamonds. I would like to talk about the Prince Regent. The Prince Regent in the size 4452 is a very unique piece of watch. It has 380 tapered diamond baguettes individually polished and invisibly set onto the dial. It has taken three of my top craftsmen nearly four months just to set the dial. This watch has altogether 520 diamonds with over 20 carats of tapered baguettes. Our key markets at the moment are in Europe, we are very important in London, in Geneva, in Paris. And we are well represented throughout the Middle East in key cities like Doha, uh, Saudi Arabia, and Dubai. And in Asia, we've been operating in Japan for the last four years with very, very good results. And since the beginning of 2011, we've been present in Hong Kong, in Macau, Singapore, and Malaysia. Uh, we have as yet not come to the Russian market and we're very much looking forward to considering various options in 2012. Thank you very much.